So this was the diving board area, and I was one of the guards, and there weren't a lot of, there was a three meter board. And if you fell off sideways, you landed on the damp, uh, the darn cement over there. <laughs> and Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did, yeah, he, and back in those days, to show how things have changed, one of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off, and he said, I'll meet you outside. My car, this was mostly, these were all public housing behind it. My car, there was a gate out here. I parked my car outside the gate. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? He said, come down here in the basement where mechanics, where, where, where all the pool f f filter is. You know, the chain, there used to be a chain that went across the deep end. And he cut off a six-foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. I said, you kidding me. He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain. And I walked up to my car. And they had, in those days, you used to remember the straight race. You'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. And I looked at him, but I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you to get off the board, you get off the board, and I'll kick you out again. But I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. I apologize, but I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that. Not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor, and my heart began to beat again. 